guys, so today I'm going to be doing my top 10 places I want to travel in the world. And at the end of the year I'm going to Europe, so I am actually going to go to a few of these places. But yeah, so I thought I'd just share the ones I want to go to at the moment and I'll maybe do like an updated one when I get back, like favourite places I went or something. So yeah, um, without further ado, let's get into the video. So these are in no particular order. I couldn't really, like I want to go to so many places, I can't really put them in an order. Number one is Budapest in Hungary. Budapest just looks so beautiful and travel bloggers, like every travel blog I've read raves about it. Every travel blogger I've read, every travel blog that I have read raves about Budapest at some point. And I am going there in January and it is so cheap, like it is such an amazing place to travel, it's so beautiful, there's so much like history and so much to see there. And it's so cheap to stay in, so you can stay there for ages and you won't run out of things to do and you won't break the bank either. <laughs> the second place I want to go is Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Rio looks so beautiful and so colourful. I, I really love that. I love like the sort of like festival vibe they have going on. And I really want to go up to Crest the Redeemer and climb that and just look down the whole of Rio. It'll be so beautiful. Number three is Notting Hill in London. I have, I don't know, in London, yeah, near London. I have actually been to Notting Hill, but I didn't know I was there when I was there. You feel. So I went to England, Italy, and France. That's where we went in 2011. And we were staying with my auntie and uncle in London, and we actually did go to the markets at Notting Hill with them, but I like I hadn't seen Notting Hill the movie, which is now like my favourite movie, and I didn't know that we were at Notting Hill when we were there. Like she just took us to these markets, so I was like, I am, I am. So yeah, I didn't really see it very much, and I really want to go back because now I've seen Notting Hill, and I want to like explore the different places, and it's just so beautiful. Now I see so many photos of it, and I wish I knew where I was when I was there, so I could have taken more photos and stuff. But yeah, I definitely go back there one day. Number four is Luxembourg. Luxembourg is just its own little country. It's over near. Ooh, the Netherlands. I couldn't remember where Amsterdam was. Oh my god, I'm going there. Um, yeah, I'm just up the top of Europe. And it's just like this tiny little country and it's so beautiful. It's like, it reminds me of like a fairy tale. It's like got castles and like, oh no, it's just, I'm so excited. I'm going to, I am going there for one night, well two nights, so I have a whole day there. And I'm so excited. Like it's really small, so there's not much to do, but just, I just want to like wander around and take photos because it's so pretty. And it's, oh no, I just, I can't, that's all to say, but I just want to ramble on forever. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Number five is Ireland. Ireland looks so pretty and so green and so like peaceful mainly. I just want to go to Ireland and like retreat, not sit in the one spot I want to explore, but like take time to just like be with myself or something like that. And I just feel like that's a perfect place to do that because a few for all those have, oh my God. For those of you who have seen PS I Love You, you will know what I'm talking about. It just, oh, like they go to Ireland and it's so beautiful and there's so many fields and like pathways to just walk on and forests to explore and I am so excited to do that one day, yeah. <laughs> Six is Cinque Terre, Cinque, oh, I can't even say it. Six is Cinque Terre in Italy. Cinque Terre is so pretty and again I'm going now, I'm going to most of these places at the end of the year, but Cinque Terre is so pretty. It's on the coast of Italy near Pisa actually. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to go there. It's just like this riverside, like, thing, like, strip, I guess, of like five towns. And all the towns are slightly different. There's like hiking tracks and stuff. And it's like sort of really old Italy, like what you see in like old Italian, like, I don't know, places and films and stuff. It's all so nice. It has like all the colorful houses and like beaches. And it's just, I'm so excited to go there. <laughs> Number seven is the Greek islands. I'm so excited to go to the Greek islands one day. I'm not going this trip because Greece is a bit out of the way from Europe. And I'm going in winter, so I thought Greece is probably best left to summertime when I can swim and like be at the beach, you know. So yeah, I'm so excited to go to Greece one day. And the islands just look so beautiful and so like, I think they're just so different to what I'm used to in Australia. And that's what I love about finding new places to go. I just want somewhere that's really different and really like, ooh, like, woo. Like eye-opening and I feel like Greece would definitely be one of those places and yeah, I can't wait to go. <laughs> Next is Arizona in USA. I just realized I've been in Europe this whole time, so I'm going to the USA. Um, I'm going to USA June, July next year, but we're not actually going to Arizona. We might be like flying over the Grand Canyon, but we're not going there to stay, you know. So 
yeah, I really want to go to the Grand Canyon and like do a little sky walk and like all that sort of stuff. And I also want to go to the Antelope, I think that's what it's called, Canyon. I've seen so many pictures of, of that place. I'm speaking too fast <laughs> lately on Instagram from like travel vloggers and stuff. And it looks so beautiful. And I just want to walk through it and take photos and just, oh my God, it looks so good. I'm definitely going there one day. <laughs> Number eight. Is that eight? Number eight <laughs> is Norway. I really want to go see the Northern Lights and like stay in one of those igloo things on the ground. I'm sure you've all seen photos, like the little hotel who's like sitting in the igloo and you're like, like look up at the lights. And yeah, oh, I just really want to go there. And apart from the Northern Lights, it also looks so pretty and I would absolutely love to go to Norway, but I hear it's very expensive. So maybe like when I'm a bit older and I have more money, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm sure there are ways around that anyway. Number nine is New Zealand and I live in Australia. So New Zealand is really not that hard to get to, but I haven't been there yet. And I really love to one day. I want to go when it's snowing. So like middle of the year, so I can just see it in all its glory pretty much. <laughs> and yes, I also I do want summer to do that so we get the like, you know, opposing views of the place. Yeah, New Zealand just looks so pretty and so like, oh, I'm just so excited. <laughs> Last one, number 10 is Berlin and in Germany. Those of you who don't know, I can't speak this video, oh my god. So yeah, Berlin. Um, Berlin is not the most photogenic city that I've heard and what I've seen and a big part of like traveling for me is taking photos and like posting on Instagram and I vlog that I will have by then. But yeah, Berlin just seems like the most open and accepting place ever. And I'm so excited to go there, just, just taking the culture and just to like experience the freedom of that place and like all the arts and like there's different types of like alternative people who live there and I'm just so excited to just take that in and spend some time there. I am spending, I think it's five nights, four days in Berlin at the end of the year, well starting next year. And yeah, I'm so looking forward to it. I'm just, oh, it's at the very end of my trip. So it's definitely something to look forward to over the whole trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe it gave you some ideas of things to put on your bucket list. And yeah, I'm sure I have so many more places I want to go, but I decided to just limit it to 10 for this time. So make sure to like this video if you liked it pretty much as always. And let me know your bucket list places to travel to down in the comments. I would absolutely love to see somewhere I haven't heard of before and look it up and add it to my own bucket list. I do that so, many, so much. And yeah, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What if I lose myself control?